Uh, we are going to help out Carl Nelson here because I need to grab some of these for her. Imagine it on 947 on this uh, 48 on this Saturday morning. Sorry, we're running around here a little bit and you've got all kinds of balloons set up. I saw you inflating a few. Yep. I don't know if that's, uh, did I just reveal the magician's no, no, secret? No, no, okay. no, no, no. It's, a, all right. it's a science secret. Okay, all right. But so Here, go ahead and hold this back. All right, I'm right from this. the top, keep your hands up near the top. <laughs> you brought over these skewers for me, so I'm just gonna like what? spike this bag a little bit because okay. we're gonna talk about polymers today. Okay. So you'd expect this bag to leak a little more than it is. You'd expect it to maybe to burst, right. perhaps. And there is a little bit of leaking, so maybe it's a little too aggressive there. But the whole idea here is that plastic bag is made of a polymer. And polymers, you think of it kind of like a plate of spaghetti noodles. Okay, they're long <laughs> chains, they're kind of stretchy, and we can actually push those skewers between the molecules, and they'll sort of relax and seal it up a little bit. Okay? Right. But, yeah, right. It's probably not too surprising with a, a big, thick plastic bag like that. But... We could step it up to something like a balloon. Yeah. Well, now when thinner. you poke a balloon, it's going to burst. Go ahead and hold it. All right. It's always good to verify like these this. things. You made a statement there that okay. if you poke a balloon, it's going to burst. Could which it does. Yeah. However, there is a way for us to get this skewer all the way through that balloon without it bursting. All right. There's a little technique here. And these clear balloons are great because you can kind of see on the sides, they're really clear. But on the top and the bottom, they have a little bit more material, a little thicker there. Yeah. OK, so I want you to hold this. The technique is to take a skewer that's been coated with a little bit of uh, dish soap, and you're going to do it yourself because I might stab you. Oh. So you hold the balloon, <laughs> you aim case. it right there, and push it right through. Okay. Push it with a little bit of effort, and it's coated. It's coated with a little bit of dish soap. You might have to twist it a little bit. Twist Keep going. Got to push a little bit harder. Yeah, uh, the air's coming out though. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. So. The technique, though, is just keep going right all the way through the other side. You did much better than I did. Apparently, balloon on here. a stick. Nice. It's a balloon so, kebab. <laughs> and you can even get all the way through the other side, hopefully, just like that. Yeah. All right? Wild. So something you can do at a party if you have kebabs and you got balloons around, a little bit of vegetable oil, a little bit of dish soap. Okay, so you've, you may have seen this before. So I thought, how far can you take this? Oh, right? boy. All you know, right. So you could do a, a skewer through a balloon, but what about like a quarter-inch dowel rod? Oh, wow. Right, so That's, go ahead and yeah. hold that for a second. I've got a much bigger balloon here. Now, I have no idea if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna test it out. You don't see know? If we can do it. I don't know. That's the beauty of science. They're great. So aim it right here, right next to my finger, More and give pigs. it a gentle push. Right. Gentle, gentle. Oh, oh look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Slow down, slow down. Oh, oh, so oh, close. That's okay, we got another one. All right, now these are the punching bag balloons. <laughs> these are just that, big balloons okay. that I got. I don't know. All right, let's try it one more time. Let's see if we got so close there. All right. Do we just need more coating? Me. Oh, we got plenty of coating. Oh, perfect. Okay. Slow down, slow I'm going to kind of twist, slow twist, slow it, down, slow twist it. You got it? Yep, got it. Okay, Do good. it. Oh! All right. Well, we were successful with the small We ones. need more balloons. I know. We got halfway <laughs> through, though. That is impressive, right? Um, so skewer through a balloon, science of polymers, really cool stuff. You can do at home with a little bit of adult supervision because they're sharp. Right. I've also seen when you put a little bit of scotch tape or some invisible tape on Excellent. the ends and you, you can, can do it that way. In fact, with the scotch tape, you can put it on the side of the balloon, yeah. which normally would always pop. But the scotch tape will help hold that polymer together so it won't develop a catastrophic rip that will make it burst. <laughs> there you go. So that's certainly something you can try as well. So you can go through sideways and you can go through the ends. Oh, that would be cool. Lots we of hate cool to stuff. burst your bubble. All right, well, head on down to the Imagination Station at One Discovery Way. They're open already. Well, in 10 minutes from now, they'll be open at 10 o'clock. And on Sundays, they're open from noon until 5. But, Carl, you have a lot happening down there. And in fact, there was a big announcement this week about what's coming next. There is. Mythbusters is coming. Yeah. The explosive exhibition. So right. in October, you definitely want to check that out. It's the biggest exhibition we've ever hosted at the Science Center. Wow. So it's going to be really cool. We're going to be doing lots of mythbusting. You I'm may sure. see some interesting things here in Imagine It as well. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. All right. Thanks very much, Carl Nelson. That is this week's Imagine It. We're turning it now over to the boys with your wrap of Football Friday.